look at the whole image and and to try to get a feeling that every single piece of that canvas was thought of when we made it. That it's not, you know, swished around or, you know, something that happened quickly, but to take the time and ingest the energy and livelihood of the whole image. Yeah, I would agree in regards to, to well, I guess I mean, I mean, at first I was thinking oils, you know, oils have been around forever and I'm just creating some amusing material that is well known. Um, I mean, this work is all oil on canvas, but um, I guess I'm assuming that it's the way, I'm not assuming, but I feel that it's how I interpret it and how I deal with the oils that um, make it mine, make it personal. Because um, I guess work is fairly important, personal to me. So, um, and what I, the viewer to um, come away with, I mean, it really depends on the piece, but I think often it's, um, sometimes it's about a quietness or about something personal or something, um, solitude at times, um, and I'm really interested in space <coughs> and a personal space. So, if they can, Take in some of that, I think I would feel satisfied. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one welding paper, and if not, I'm certainly willing to fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime! Um, it's a pretty extensive process, uh, the melting of the wax and the paper. There's a, like a little video in that other room if anybody's interested, or if you can go on YouTube, um, there's a little video of my name. In. Um, it really is the whole love of it, the whole relationship that I have to the work, the piece, the paper, the wax, the electricity, the whole thing is all about that process. Um, there's no cutting corners uh, ever, you know, doing anything than what it's going to take. So, um, and that's the thing. I think that in some ways that work, the whole strength of that work is about the physicality. And it's about my physicality with, with all of that um, process, every piece of paper. Um, and I think it, it's, it's got to be felt. And, you know, it's made in such a violent way, but yet, you know, they're very delicate and like ladylike. And I like that about it too. <laughs> that it, you know, and they, they, it smells like grease and, um, Copper and all that smoke, and, but you know they still look very ladylike, and I like that too. So in that way, I think they're quite personal to me. Mm -hmm. um, I want them to feel it physically. Mm -hmm. That's really the thing, and that that sort of brings about you know whether or not they're painting, or they're certainly not paintings, but sculptures or drawings or what. But I want people to walk away with having felt that in, in a physical way, and not just a psychic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I talked a little bit about my process. I just wanted to add that not only really trusting the instinct or sort of sometimes you do have a, you have the vision of what a piece might be, and in terms of these, you, you, I felt that they would I would cut through the entire core and like the purple piece I, I sort of mentioned. But it's, it's also a lot to do with sort of listening and looking and, and knowing when a piece, kind of having an interaction with a piece and knowing when to stop um, is really important as well. And what I hope I'm here to take away with is sort of seeing a lot of the objects I use are everyday common objects or, you know, sterile kind of objects. Wanting to see that sterility and also just the transformation that happens and sort of the dialogue between those two. Um, yeah, just sort of observation slash question that when you were talking about materials, Sarah, mm -hmm. I was thinking about how you were working for a while with thread, mm -hmm. and that painting on the left, it kind of reminds me of that process a little bit. Yeah, well I'm really interested in fabrics, but, and I've played around with them, but I end up, I always end up falling back, not falling back, because that almost sounds like but um, 
but I feel so in tune with the oil paint that in the end, I think the oil paint becomes the thread, like you're saying, opposed to using actual thread. Mm -hmm. So, that's so, yeah, a good observation. <laughs>